more, but the problem is they aren't informed that they're being monitored. I mean, at least in Britain, they have stickers everywhere saying you are under our surveillance. But here, people are being monitored way more than I think they realize. New York, New York. On the southern tip of Manhattan is the city's financial district, one of the most powerful economic centers on the planet. But could it also be one of the most secretly watched? Just about every dollar in the world comes through here at one point or another. They want to make sure it's protected. So they built what they call the Ring of Steel. The financial district is encircled by a huge amount of cameras, surveillance devices. They incorporate private cameras, public cameras, police cameras to make sure that every avenue into and out of the financial district of New York City is covered completely. Could this ring of steel, hidden discreetly above the heads of thousands of bankers, tourists, and residents, be quietly monitoring the streets below? We've got so many cameras around, it's not even funny. Uh, right up here, for example, there's a pan tilt zoom camera. With that one camera, they can look all around this block and see anything with a 30x zoom. But while closed circuit cameras can work to solve crimes after the fact, like locating the suspects in the Boston Marathon bombings, could they also be used by law enforcement to identify perpetrators before a crime even happens? The answer is, yes, they can. Thanks to a top secret camera system called Trapwire. Trapwire is a secret facial recognition system that's been in operation since 2007, where major cities in America have facial recognition scanning cameras already operational and have for years. Let's imagine you've got a building. Somebody wants to commit a terrorist act against the building. They're going to have to surveil the building. They're going to have to basically case the joint. Well, if I can spot the people doing reconnaissance, I can stop the attack before it happens. Video analytics is incredibly useful, and in the last few years, it's become incredibly powerful. How does a powerful video analytics system like Trapwire even go about creating a database? Some say a common social network is responsible for one of the most shocking Big Brother secrets of all. Facebook actually is one of the biggest facial recognition databases in the country who works hand in hand with the government through their secret affiliations. So since about at least 2007, major cities in America, government buildings, airports, etc., have had fully functioning facial recognition scanning systems in there. It's used all over the country and all over the world for various reasons. Facial recognition software was used to find Osama bin Laden from a satellite. How much more science fiction can you get? That's awesome. Everything we do is watched. Everything. It reminds me of an old Twilight Zone episode where we're like hamsters. We're, we're, America's become a habit trail and we are, we're pets. It's like we're pets of the government for our own good. Everything they do, they say, is for our own good. While some admit it may be impossible to escape the eye of Big Brother on city streets, most Americans take comfort that they can escape his gaze in the safety of their own homes. Or can they? The Xbox has a really cool technology called Connect. It's multiple cameras on this one device that you use with your Xbox, and what it gets is a 3D picture of anyone in front of it. There's always the potential for these devices to get hacked or accessed somehow, you know, for nefarious purposes. Should Americans be concerned that their seemingly innocuous home gaming devices are really portals that hackers, or perhaps even the government, can use to look inside their homes? There's no known cases of the Xbox Connect being hacked. However, the fact is, there is a camera that's in your living room. So, if a hacker can find out the right way, it's possible to enable those devices and potentially monitor and listen to what's happening in your living room. Even though the Connect camera hasn't been hacked into yet, 
could there be good reason to be wary of a breach at some point? All right, you guys got the general idea. I'm going to cut it off. The FBI has already...